If you really want a perfect fit for a suit or a dress, you likely need to have it customized for your body size and shape. So why not do it for something even more important like a total knee replacement? CBS News' Dr. Max Gomez here now to tell us that's exactly what a company is doing using 3D printing. Doctor. Yeah, that's right, Maurice. You know, three quarters of a million knee replacements are done yearly, and that number is going to go way up as baby boomers wear out their knees. How well those artificial knees relieve pain and how long they last depends on getting the fit and alignment just right. That's where custom implants help. These days, Fitch Lockwood has a knee that's pain-free and can flex better than most other 64-year-olds. But that wasn't the case just a few months ago. I developed a limp uh, probably three to three and a half years ago um, because it was aching all the time. Like many people his age, Fitch had developed osteoarthritis of the knee. He's basically worn out the cartilage on the ends of his thigh and shin bones. Until doctors learn how to regenerate that cartilage, a total knee replacement is the last option. We do a nice job of getting it right, uh, really most of the time. But most of the time isn't good enough in surgery. And that's where this comes in. What Dr. Eric Grossman is referring to is a customized knee replacement made to specifically fit your particular anatomy. It starts with a CAT scan of the knee, which gets sent off to Boston-based Conformis, which uses a computer algorithm to take precise measurements for a custom implant. Replicating the patient's anatomy, and this does that to the closest degree that we're, we have available to us. The next steps are where the technology gets very high tech. Conformis uses 3D printing to help make a knee implant to your precise measurements. That's partly the implant itself and also the instruments that help the surgeon place the implant in the exact alignment to correct any deformity and also. So the implants survive for 20, 30 years. You wanted the weight distribu distribution to be to be balanced so that it doesn't prematurely wear a specific area. Fitch had his custom knee implant just four months ago. Within a week after the surgery, I threw away the cane crutches, and now it feels like my natural knee. So the question is, who needs a custom knee since conventional implants come in many different sizes and shapes? Dr. Grossman argues most people could probably benefit from a custom implant, but it still remains to be seen how widespread its adoption will eventually become. But the cost is about the same as a conventional implant, so why not? Right. You would think that's that it would be more expensive. You would think it'd be more expensive. That's the whole idea. Is you've yeah. got to get it down to that so that it's in that same ballpark, mm -hmm. so that it becomes more widely adopted. Yeah. These are fancy machines, not your everyday printers, right? Oh no, no, this is <laughs> fabricators. This is not your inj yeah, your, your inj ink inkjet jet jet. printer. No, these are yeah. fabricators, and and the tools and the instruments are the ones that are actually 3D printed. The metal stuff is still fabricated, but that's in the process of being made into 3D printing as well. Right. Don't get us started on these inkjets around here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We want to get in the water. Beats carbon it. coffee, that's for sure. <laughs>